Masoud Ali Mohammadi was killed in broad daylight in a quiet suburb in Tehran. He was on his way to work at the city's main university, where students have recently staged large protests in favor of the opposition. As more details emerge from Mohammadi's background, we're learning that he was a staunch supporter of defeated presidential candidate Mir Hussein Mousavi. Clayton Swisher has more. Authorities say the early morning blast outside this northern Tehran residence was nothing less than an assassination against one of their nuclear scientists. For the government, Al Mohammadi's death meant losing a key scientist working to build the country's nuclear capability. Authorities have begun a full scale investigation. They believe this motorcycle may have been used in the detonation. The key question now is who pressed the button. He may have been targeted because someone wants to delay Iran's uh, nuclear uh, program. Uh, we know in the past there have been some attempts, at least intimidation, of various people who are associated with Iran's nuclear program. Uh, the authorities have already started blaming the two uh, groups. One are the MEK, the um, Mujahideen Khalq uh, opposition, who are mainly based abroad, and also they have uh, accused the Zionist uh, agents being behind uh, the killing of Professor Mohammadi. So I suppose that is the line that they will be pursuing. The Iranian government has yet to offer any evidence in these early hours. As investigators try to put the pieces back together, they will no doubt be combing over all the heightened measures being taken by the West to prevent this country from gaining a nuclear weapon. Clayton Swisher, Al Jazeera.